Hey guys, um, Halo Infinite Storm Customization here, bringing you something really cool, drivable phantoms. So you can actually drive to phantom in Halo Infinite, and I'll show you a demonstration of it, and then I'll tell you how it's done. And I also have a bookmark for it. So as you can see, I'm piloting the phantom. No mods required, all scripting. So this was discovered by Dan the Bloke on Twitter. And well, I made a video about it, making it right now. So yeah, you can pilot it, you can go up, you can go down. I'll get to piloting it again. Let me just show you guys how it's done. So, well, I made a prefab, so I'm gonna ungroup it right now. And then I'll take a look at the brain. So, well, you obviously, you will need a uh, phantom spawner. So the phantom can come in. And remember, you need to generate the nav mesh so, so the phantom spawner can in. The phantom spawner is found in, uh, within, like, gameplay, AI, phantom spawner. Any unit, as long as it comes, will be fine. Or you can even drop off a vehicle. Anyways, then into the script brain, you will need... This is the easy script for it. So on player mark... We will get the object at an index, which is where we mark. It'll get the object, well, the object list and in index one, which is the first thing in the object list. And it'll basically point out the phantom. And then it'll get the vehicle type from the object we pinged, which is a phantom. So then we set spawn and vehicle for all players. We could do it for the player who pinged or do a lot of other stuff with it but basically this makes it so we will spawn in a phantom and we enable it to true and then we just kill the player delete object being the player so we can actually like spawn in so it's pretty easy and where's my phantom there it is so yeah you spawn in inside of it and it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, you cannot fire the weapons. And uh, y if you get out, you can't get back in. So you basically have to die again to get back in. Uh, but if you want to mess around with it or improve it or do other stuff, you, you can totally do that. So you can actually look at like inside of the phantom. Let me park it. Alright, so... Well, I got out. I'll kill this little grunt. And then I'll go in here. This is what a phantom looks like from the inside. Uh, pretty interesting. You have the... This thing right there. It's blocked off the gravity lift. Oh, the phantom just... Crashed. And it's crashing. Uh, you cannot get on the turrets unless you... Unless you attack them. And... Yes, you can destroy the phantom. Which is what I'm doing right now. It is a little bit durable. So it'll take a bit of time. And again, you cannot get back into it. So you literally have to like, die again. A uh, bookmark, a um, file will be in the description. So you can bookmark it. You can save the prefab. Remember, generate the nav mesh so the phantoms can spawn in. So I might mess around with it and do more fun stuff and see like what can be done with it. But in the meantime, you guys can mess around with this and it's pretty fun. Like this is just a basic way of getting in. Um, this So any player who would be with me would also get in. So there's more stuff you could technically do with this. So you could like spawn if you click a certain button, if you set it up correctly. Anyways. Um, this has been it for now, and uh, thanks to Dan the Bloke again for this, who discovered it. So, uh, yeah, bookmark it and have fun with it. Bye, guys.